hello and welcome to my channel making crafts today I'm doing a flip through of my Christmas journal and I have a entire series on creating this journal I didn't create it from start to finish because some things I did off-camera but I do show how I made the cover and different parts of the journal I do have videos for that so you can check for that playlist if you're interested in seeing how I made something in this journal so I have just tied a little um, cloth bow around it and I'm just tying the bow on the side and this bow is just one that can be easily removed so that when you're working in your journal it doesn't get in the way. So let's just lay that aside for now. And so the cover has been collaged and then I've just added some pearls and just layered up some different things onto the cover. And then I've got um, two layers of lace. I've got red lace and then a cream colored crocheted lace. And so I've done the same thing on the back. It's just collaged up there's different pieces of lace and different little pearls and just different things on it and then normally I cover my spine but this time I am leaving the stitch and showing where I bound the spine together because it all blends in and I just I really like the way this cover looks without any lace or anything on the spine so I left it like that and so then on the inside I have pockets on the inside cover on the inside of the front and back cover there's layered pockets and then on the front, I've put this dimensional um, sticker, and I've just glued it down, though. It's, it's not going anywhere. And I'll try to hold it up so you can see the dimension in it. It's like a, it's a really pretty sticker. And so I've added that there. And then I have the journaling cards, and I have a video showing how I made all of these journaling cards. And some of the tags. Here's a tag that I made. And then here's a little card that I made. And I just stamped some ivory paper with a little reindeer. Or little deer I guess it could be that as well so this kit is the kit that I designed it's my Christmas kit that I designed and it is a digital kit that is in my Etsy shop and I can link to that below and so for the first page of the signature I have used 65 pound cardstock and then I've just put a little doily on here along with a dimensional another dimensional sticker and then I have added a little tree charm there and it's on a hanging on a ball pen and then on the back side I have a flip out that has two tags in it a collage tag and then just a tag that I have stamped and I've had just a little bit of gold ribbon too and this is just a cutout I've trimmed around a one of the pictures on one of the sheets from the kit I've added a little ruffle here and then another pocket on the back and a journaling card from the kit and then here's a great little journaling spot and this is just a page from the kit I have some green dyed paper here and this is paper that I dyed with a stencil and I'm, I dyed this over the summer so I can't remember what kind of dye I used but I think I used fabric dye. And then I've added a ruffle that I've sewn myself and then a little ball pin with a little jingle bell and it, it does make a little jingle noise. And then on this page it's just a page from the kit but I've added a little cluster here with some ribbon and fabric and then a little poinsettia die cut that I've put together. And then on this side I have stenciled it with some red ink and then I added a little journaling spot there, a little flip out and it has another one of those dimensional stickers on it that's a little candy cane and then the fabric is underneath it. Then I have a piece of coffee dyed paper and then on this page it is a Christmas music but I've added a belly band and then I've added two little journaling cards. I have this one's just a page from the kit that's been printed on cardstock. And then this is a page from the kit and then this one is just a little cutout that I, I um, cut out from a paper pack that I own. And so I thought he was really cute right there. And then here's another page from the kit and all the pages from the kit are printed on 32 pound premium HP paper. And some of them are printed front and back and then some of them are not. And so this one is not. And so I've added a pocket. It's just a vellum pocket. And then I have some just little journaling spots inside the vellum pockets. And then here's some little tags that I've added. And they're just little ones from the kit. And it's got a little snowflake I've added there. And then here I've added another little um, ruffle. And it's just from muslin that I've created. And then these are some die cuts that I had that I layered together and made a little candy cane with a little bow. Some more of that green dyed paper that I created. And I love how it varies. The paper can be dark and then it can be light as well. So I love how it turned out. And here I have a little scalloped pocket, like a little um, 
It was just a circle that I've cut out and, and just turned into a pocket. And then I added a little die cut of a stocking and then a little poinsettia die cut. And then inside the stocking is a itty bitty tag that's been backed with some coffee stain paper. And then I've just got a little bit of jute there to put a little ribbon on it. And then this is a journaling card that I created. It's just collaged and then I've layered it up with some images. And then the back is a good spot for journaling. And the back of some of these, this one is actually some leftover um, file folder that I had. So I just backed some of these with file folder because I thought that'd be great to, to journal on, but I like the color with this kit as well. Okay, so the next page, this is a die cut that I have that cuts out these little layered pockets. And so then I've just put some different little journaling cards and envelopes into this pocket. And I've just added some little things here. And then I have a little pocket here, little envelope, and with a very little journaling card, just a little mini journaling card. I thought that was cute. And then another, which is a mini tag, and an, another little mini journaling card. And you could add, if you if you got this journal, you could add so many things. You could actually stick pictures in there if you wanted to. You could stick, um, for the back side here, some Christmas cards would fit as well. So this would be a good little place to tuck things. You could take all that out and add different things there. This is just a piece of cardstock from a paper pack that I had, and I just added it and left it plain so they could journal or collage. And this journal, I did leave a lot of things plain because I want whoever receives it to be able to embellish it, add pictures, use it for their December daily if they wanted to. And so if I filled it up too much, they wouldn't be able to add to it for their December daily. So here is a little clip that I've added, and then I've added a little snowflake charm onto the clip. And then I created this little booklet here, and it's just a little journaling spot, and I've collaged it and stamped it and added some fabric on the edge here. And then inside is some coffee stained paper that I've, that I've stained, and it's got a little print of a doily, or not a doily, but a ribbon on it. And then the back is more collage, and it's got a little tab. And so then on the page here, I have stenciled it and stamped it. So you wouldn't have to leave this in the book here. You could put it somewhere else, but this is where I added it. Let me get this here and I'm trying to layer these up I wanted the um, charms to stagger on the outside so that's why I try to pay attention where I put this clip so here is another page from the kit and it's a great journaling spot and then I've added a pocket to the back side of it and some more little embellishments and then another journaling card that I have collaged with some paper from the kit and then I've also added some more little stamped journaling cards and that I have stamped up. And then we have another piece of coffee stain paper, a little green ruffle that I've created and added. And then here is a page that's collaged. And I thought this would still be a great journaling page because you've got all these different little spots that you could journal. I think that would look so cool to journal, you know, around these spots and then leave the decorative pieces. And so then here is another page from the kit. And then this is a journaling card that I created as well. And then another pocket here. And this, and I've added a doily to layer up here. And then I've left this blank so you could add whatever you wanted. Then we've got a little Christmas music sheet here. And then I have another page from the kit. Another one that's a good journaling spot. And then this is some red paper that I dyed. And it's a light, light, light red. It's almost pink. But I really wanted to add it to this. And so I dyed this over the summer. So I think I used food color and, and maybe some fabric dye as well. I can't remember with that one. And also, I don't know if I pointed out, but I have rounded all the edges of the pages. Each page has just had a rounded edge. So for the center sheet, I used another piece of cardstock. And when I tied it, to, when I sewed it together, I did use some waxed thread. But then I added this little bow here to the waxed thread just to add a little bit of more Christmas decoration to it. And so there's more of that dyed paper and the music sheet. And then on this side of the red card, I have added another pocket along with a little journaling card and a doily on the edge here. And then here's another page from the kit. And then I've added this little flip out. So it's a collage piece that I've, that I've added some little embellishments to with some lace inside here. And then you could journal here and here. And then here's another flip up so that you can 
you can, this and it's been embossed. It's I've embossed it and then just added some embellishment. And I thought that was a neat little place to journal underneath there. Another green ruffle that I've created, along with I've added a ball pen and another little jingle bell. And here is a pocket that I've stamped and added some die cuts to, and then I fussy cut a little bird from the kit and added some lace and book page. And inside this pocket is a little Santa journaling card, as well as a little tag, and then another little journaling card from the kit. And so another great journaling page from the kit. And then here I've stenciled this page and stamped it with Believe. And then this is another collage piece. I love collaging, so I'm adding a lot of collage to it, I know. But I made this a pocket, and so inside it is a little journaling spot. So you can just tuck that in. You could tuck pictures in here. So, you know, if I have sometimes when I'm making a mini album or Christmas, documenting Christmas, I have extra stuff. You could put um, extra pictures in here, or you could put like tickets and different things that you want to hold on to. This pocket's really big and could hold a lot of things. And some more of that dyed paper. Another little ruffle that I created, and then another little flip out. And um, I've just embellished it with a little mini poinsettia. This is just a little library pocket that I created. And then I've added another journaling card to it. And behind it's a tuck spot, and so I've added another little journaling card. And then we got the rest of the sheet music there. And here is a side pocket. And I've just used, um, this is from a paper pack that I had. And then I've used this from the kit to embellish it. And then here is a little Santa tag that I have added to this one. I thought he was cute peeping out like that. Oh, and then the other side of the coffee stained paper. And then I've stenciled this page, another great journaling page. This is a belly band, but also a journaling spot. So you open this up, you can journal in here, and then just close it back up and keep all that hidden in there. And then it's also a belly band, so I've tucked a little journaling card inside of there. And there's room underneath that you could add more. And I've left this so that you could add more and embellish it more. Another little ruffle that I created in my dyed paper here. And so then we have our last page, which is 65 pound cardstock. And then on the back side of the last page, just down here at the bottom in the print, very faintly, I put made by Susan Reynolds making crafts. And so if you I always try to sign all my journals and there is where I signed it. And if you don't like the signature being in it, you can always put a piece of washi tape over it or a piece of book page or anything and cover it up. And so then in the back pocket here, I've added a little Santa tag and then another little collage tag that I created. And then I've added the large Santa tag. Let me see if I put this in first and then this one since that's layered. And then here's the little Santa tag here. And I've tried to use different Santas throughout the journal. I didn't stick with one time period of Santas. I have all sorts of Santas in here. And I really love how this journal turned out and I, I um, have had a lot of fun with it. I did have to hold back from making it so chunky, but I wanted to leave it so that whoever gets it has plenty of room to add things to it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series. And if you haven't had a chance to see all the videos, there is some videos on how I created the cover and some different parts in the book. So you can look back, there'll be a playlist for this journal, as well as you can just look back in my videos and see, it'd be my previous videos of this, you can see how I created this journal. Well, thank you so much for watching and thank you for following along. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be putting this one in my Etsy shop. Once this video is goes live, so will the listing for this journal. So I will link to it below and I will link to the kit that I, my digital kit that I used to create this. Well, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day and bye.